Ladies and gentlemen, last night I gave a speech. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about this. It was a speech about free speech, believe it or not. And uh, I'm currently under attack. Uh, I'm the news. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, on my speech on free speech, I referenced Puerto Rico. Uh, which currently has a, uh, a landfill problem in which all of their landfills are filled to the brim. I guess I'm the only person that knew about this, uh, unfortunately. And with that said, I just want to say that I've been to, I love Puerto Ricans. They're very smart people. They're smart, they're street smart. And they're smart enough to know when they're being used as political fodder. And right now, that is happening. And uh, I apologize to absolutely nobody. Not to the Puerto Ricans. Not to the whites. Not to the blacks. Not to the Palestinians. Not to the Jews. And not to my own mother, who I made fun of during the set. Nobody clipped that. No headlines about me making fun of my own mother. Perhaps that venue at that time wasn't the best fucking place to do this set at. But in any matter, to the mainstream media and to everybody trying to slander me online, that's what I do. I go hard, and that's never going to change. Who's ready for the best fucking night of their lives? A lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this. So, if you guys floating island of garbage just don't know. Right <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. We're getting there. Again, normally I don't follow the national anthem, everybody. Uh... But the fact... If you guys don't know, now you know. Yeah, Tony, Kill Tony, is what most people refer to him as. I got to keep getting this camera straight, right? Yeah, he went out and just trolled all liberals just now by saying he apologized to no one. The media tried to counsel him and pretty much tried to destroy Trump's chance of winning an election over his jokes, which is pretty strange because what does a comedian have to do with the opinions of a politician you know trump didn't set that entire gig up so the entire thing is kind of strange to me and it's strange to all of america because it's kind of trying to demonize comedy as a whole and somewhat make it illegal and that's just not where we are we're at the point in the country where we want to be able to say what we want when we want and it used to be that way. Now, I'm not one of those conservatives that are as extremely radical saying uh, F slurs. Um, you know, I don't have to go into them with lettering, but you guys understand all the slurs. You can just log into any social media, Instagram and X. You'll see it. I, I, I believe everyone has the freedom to use it. But, you know, me as a person, I don't see the necessary reason to use it myself. Uh, I don't I, I kind of feel like it has a link with intelligence just to demean people. Especially on things they can't help, things they can't change. To me, I feel like it's kind of cowardice and kind of weak. Um, but comedy as a whole, comedy should be legal. You know, back in the time with the kings and the queens, the only people that were able to talk about the power, the distinguished power of the throne, were the jesters. And I feel like it was somewhat similar in the past in America that comedians were able to look at the world and see it for what it is and tell people what they see in comedy through laughs and uh they're kind of to me i feel like if they demonize comedy they're destroying an ancient tradition it's a lot easier to laugh at our problems than address them than to address them than laugh so it's very important to have them on stage and spring up these problems because regardless of whether people like it or not through that joke of puerto rico he's done more to me for puerto ricans by shedding light on the problems in puerto rico than any of our politicians, the liberal politicians have. Honestly, just think about it. Uh, who really was thinking about Puerto Rico to then? And the sad truth about the Puerto Ricans that's watching, you can disagree with me if you want, um, I feel like they're kind of being used like blacks because they're being tossed to the side a little bit. You know, the whole thing about Puerto Rico is going to destroy the presidency for Trump, and we saw that Latinos photo film in droves. 
they kind of toss them to the side, you know. And I feel bad for them because the same thing happens to us. But something very interesting is that I think this is kind of creating a divide with liberals because they want comedy too. I think we're just tired of being two foot pushed to the far left, including AOC. Whether people know it or not, AOC has disagreed with Biden several times. Several times. And she's more in the center to me. I've always said I feel like in the future AOC is going to be a politician that converts to the right. I've said it. And she's she's not too bad on the eyes either, so that helps. But bringing up AOC, Joe Rogan uh, sat down with Kill Tony, and he spoke about AOC. But the fact that he did it, whatever. It's like, listen, man, there's going to be some people that tried to capitalize on that, and that was a big thing. Like, AOC really mobilized, which is funny because I'm almost certain that AOC's been to see Kill Tony. Really? Yes. Huh. Yeah, almost certain. Almost certain. Wait, here at the mother the, I don't think so here. But somewhere saw Kill Tony. Man, she probably loves AOC it. AOC did say she's I wonder who. Let's call him up. All right. AOC says she was a fan. AOC says she was a fan when she was playing that horrible football game with Tim Walls. Both of them had zero points. She says she was a fan of Kill Tony. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, you're live. You're live on the air right now with Dave Smith. I need to answer a question. I need a question answered. Did AOC ever come to see Kill Tony? She says that she did, but we're almost positive that she didn't. I never met her in the, any of the shows in L.A. I mean, she could have conceivably have bought a ticket to Madison Square Garden, but she never posted about it. Well, she probably she wouldn't post about it. It's, it's too sketchy. Your, your show's sketchy. Yeah. But so how do you know that she says that she was there? She tweeted that she's been to a taping. When all that stuff went down, she said that she's disappointed in me and she's been to a taping. I can't remember the exact tweet right now. But it was the day of the, the day of the Madison Square Garden Trump thing. She posted, I'm really disappointed in Tony Hinchcliffe. I'm a fan of Kill Tony and have been to a taping. Something like that. I don't want to misquote her like she would certainly do to me. <laughs> <laughs> She's been there and she was surprised? It makes no sense. Yeah. No, nothing these people fucking say make any sense. They're out of their goddamn minds. And now their voices are quieted, thank God. Tony. America's back, baby. <laughs> America's back. Let's, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I got to go, brother. I love you. There it is. So she says she's a fan of it. It's not only just conservatives that are tired of comedy being counseled, but liberals as well. I think we're getting to the point where we're getting to some middle ground. And uh, shout out to him for standing on his 10 and not folding under pressure. And interested to see more from him. Please like, comment, subscribe to stay updated. And hit the notification bell to see the next post. Thank